एक्सरसाइज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स एक्टोमिक डेवलपमेंट इज नॉट इक्विवेबलिट टू द टोटल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ सोसाइटी इट इज ओनली अ पार्ट और वन डिमेंशन ऑफ जनरल नेशन डेवलपमेंट नो सिंगल डेफिनेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक also been used to employ economic development the through fine distinctions may be drawn between these three however one can safely think of economic development as a process whereby real nation income increase over a long period of time if the rate of the development is greater than the rate of population growth per capita income will also increase but this does not necessarily necessarily constitute progress and a better standard of living the today economic development has quantitative as well as qualitative aspects even it real per capita income increase it is possible that the rich are getting richer and the poor capita income increase thus economic welfare may not be achieved even it if real nation income and per capita income has risen unless the restaurant distribution of income can be regarded equitable question suggested a suitable title for the passage question number 2 what is meant by equivalent imply and equitable question number 3 why is the distribution of income important question number 4 make a precise message of of the passage about in 60 words exercise number 47 partially all the progress that mean the that man has made is due to the fact that he is mortal he has recognized that he is in this world one only for a little while and his knowledge has stimulated him for, to make a diligent use of whatever talented he is endowed with he has sought to comprehend the secrets of nature and the mysteries of the world around him to emulate the aspects of life all our instincts and emotions are reinforced by the if we were not mortal the paternal and the maternal instincts who would not dominated our lives so strongly as they do if we knew that we should never die we would have no desire of children to perpetuate our name and carry on the succession of the race thus ultimately we should arrive at a world without a children and for some of the most beautiful emotions to which the human soul can give expression and that lands a peculiar scientistic to human love a man may love his books
but the love that bear to his wife his children or his friend is something deeper and more sublime it is a love intensified and purified by through that human life is a finite things which may at any moment be touched by the finger of death